Starbase is teeming with activity across all systems, particularly as SpaceX conducts testing. Recent updates suggest that Flight 5 may be nearer than anticipated. We might not need to bide our time until late November. What could be the rationale behind this? In the meantime, SpaceX has triumphantly executed the Falcon 9 return to flight mission. In stark contrast, Blue Origin's suborbital mission faced yet another setback as it was aborted, resulting in considerable disappointment. There's much to discuss, so let's delve into the latest developments in today's episode of NR Studio. Following the initial full-stack test conducted late last month, SpaceX has been progressively intensifying its operations, which includes essential testing with the chopstick mechanism. Shortly after these measures were implemented, a new road closure schedule was unveiled, signaling that a significant test was imminent. By the late hours of October 4th and the early hours of October 5th, the hot staging ring was carefully repositioned onto Booster 12. By the afternoon of October 5th, Ship 30 had been carefully maneuvered into position, secured in place by a chopstick. On that same evening, the second full stack was successfully completed. Subsequently, SpaceX prepared to conduct a critical test utilizing Flight 5 hardware. This pivotal step signifies an important milestone in their ongoing advancements. On the morning of October 7th, Highway 4 was closed. By noon, the launch pad was cleared with venting observed at both the orbital launch mount and the launch tower. By approximately 2.50 p.m. CDT, fuel was successfully loaded into all the tanks of Ship 30 and Booster 12, resulting in the formation of frost on the rocket. Notably, the frost didn't ascend to great heights, indicating that the fuel load was not at its full capacity. The detanking process commenced after approximately 20 minutes, at which point the road was subsequently reopened. On October 8th, SpaceX executed another test of the water deluge system. It continued to spray water with nominal force even after an extended period of inactivity, demonstrating that the test was a success. In summary, SpaceX has triumphantly concluded its second integration test, signifying its preparedness for the forthcoming flight. At present, SpaceX has made a significant advancement at Starbase. Several large trucks, presumably fuel carriers, are strategically stationed in front of the launch site. This kind of activity often indicates that preparations are underway for an official launch. More significantly, SpaceX has revealed on X that preparations for the fifth flight test of Starship are underway, with a potential launch date set for October 13th, contingent upon regulatory approval. Musk heightened anticipation by stating that the launch could take place as early as Sunday. When inquired about the feasibility of capturing the booster with the Mechacilla arms, he responded affirmatively, emphasizing that this is indeed possible if all systems are functioning optimally. The mid-October launch date, initially regarded as speculation influenced by Notmar or NOTAM notices, has now been substantially reinforced by SpaceX's official statement, which confirms that this possibility is exceedingly likely. Moreover, the company has refreshed its homepage to include the official timeline for Flight 5. While the majority of the procedures remain consistent, a notable modification has been introduced concerning Super Heavy. Specifically, between T plus 6 minutes and 50 seconds to 6 minutes and 56 seconds, Super Heavy will present two options, a splashdown in the absence of a catch attempt or a shutdown of the landing burn followed by a catch attempt. This implies that SpaceX will evaluate the conditions thoroughly and prioritize safety over committing to a hazardous maneuver. The emphasis is on making informed decisions to mitigate risks effectively. Journalist Christian Davenport underscored this distinction in his tweets, a sentiment that was affirmed by Elon Musk with a simple, exactly. What we all eagerly await is the instant when the super heavy is captured by the Mechazilla arms. This marks the most significant shift for Flight 5, and we will delve deeper into the launch process details in the upcoming episode. However, the FAA previously indicated that Flight 5 could not proceed before the end of November due to the implementation of new requirements. With SpaceX's recent announcement regarding a potential launch on October 13th, coupled with the upcoming catch attempt, there appears to be a contradiction with the FAA's timeline. Moreover, SpaceX's tweet continues to emphasize the necessity of pending regulatory approval. This leads to the intriguing hypothesis that the FAA may no longer hold the authority to approve Flight 5, 
Instead, it is conceivable that NASA could assume the role of the licensing body. While this remains uncertain, it presents a potential opportunity. No organization is more eager to witness Starship's inaugural flight than NASA, as it plays a critical role in the Artemis program. If this proves to be the case, it may signify the FAA's potential retreat from granting approvals for rocket launches, a transition that many have anticipated following numerous delays. Eliminating these obstacles would represent a significant milestone in the ongoing progress of space exploration. Such a transformation could pave the way for unprecedented discoveries and innovation. What are your thoughts? Could this scenario materialize, enabling SpaceX to meet their projected launch timeline? Please respond with yes or no and share your anticipated Flight 5 launch date in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. Meanwhile, preparations for Flight 5 are intensifying, accompanied by ongoing work on adjacent systems. On October 4th at Launch Pad B, we witnessed the corner sections of the orbital launch mount being carefully transported across the production site. Furthermore, an unrecognized section featuring a distinct design has emerged. Given these advancements, it appears that the construction of the OLM is poised to begin shortly. As we enter October, the FAA's timeline for the completion of Launch Pad B now has just over three months to go. Nevertheless, several additional systems will require transportation and assembly. One essential element is the chopstick, which has been relocated to the Starbase, alongside the tower modules. However, there has been no additional information concerning its installation. I look forward to its prompt installation on the tower. While the official deadline stretches into the next year, I am hopeful that Launch Pad B will be finalized by year end, paving the way for robust launch operations to commence in the following year. Wrapping up the Starship section, let's now pivot our focus to the Falcon 9 return to flight mission. At 10.02 a.m., the day began to unfold with promise. Eastern daylight saving time marked a significant milestone as a Falcon 9 rocket took flight from SLC-40, successfully delivering the HERO spacecraft for the International Space Agency. The mission progressed seamlessly, and a mere 76 minutes after liftoff, the payload detached from the rocket, embarking on its voyage to the asteroid Didymos and its moon, Dimorphos. The spacecraft is anticipated to reach its destination in 2026, at which point it will embark on a six-month mission to assess the impacts of NASA's 2022 Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, commonly referred to as DART. This project is essential for evaluating our capacity to safeguard Earth against potential asteroid impacts in the future. Once again, this mission underscores SpaceX's reliability and superiority. Initially scheduled for launch aboard Russia's Soyuz and later at Area 6, the complications associated with both rockets led the ISA to ultimately select SpaceX's Falcon 9, the mission with a disclosed budget of 401 million US dollars equivalent to 363 million euros, underscores the immense trust placed in SpaceX. Following the launch, Ian Carnelli briefly remarked that it's going exceptionally well. In a show of pride, Elon Musk added, Godspeed, hero. This successful launch demonstrates that the challenges encountered during Crew-9 were mere isolated incidents. Falcon 9 consistently reaffirms its status as the world's most reliable rocket. Its impressive track record speaks volumes about its engineering and performance. The FAA, having recently initiated investigations and levied fines against SPACEX, may experience a degree of embarrassment over its prior obstacles to the operations of Falcon 9. This retrospective scrutiny highlights the complexities of regulatory oversight in the rapidly evolving aerospace industry. It remains to be seen whether the agency will permit the Falcon rocket to resume full operations following the success. SpaceX's upcoming mission aims to launch the Europa Clipper aboard the Falcon Heavy. The spacecraft has already been encapsulated within the Falcon Heavy fairing. However, NASA recently announced that the launch scheduled for October 10th has been canceled. The official rationale cited was apprehensions regarding Hurricane Milton. However, it is plausible that FAA approval also played a significant role. Stay updated with the latest news from NASA and SpaceX. Keep your eyes peeled for exciting developments.
This mission signifies the conclusion of an era. The B-1061 booster successfully completed its 23rd and final flight. SpaceX clarified that the enhanced performance needed to transport HARA to interplanetary transfer orbit marks this as the 23rd and final mission for this Falcon 9 first stage booster. The B-1061 has played a pivotal role in numerous significant missions, including Crew-1, Crew-2, SXM-8, CRS-23, IXPE, Transporter-4, Transporter-5, Global Star FM-15, ISI Aero C-3, Korea-4-2-5, Max-R-1, ASBM, and 10 Starlink missions. Through its impressive track record and the utilization of various other boosters, B-1061 has consistently redefined the limits of reusability, establishing new benchmarks in the industry. This legacy will establish a framework for future boosters to strive for even more ambitious objectives, such as reaching 40 launches per booster. Let's take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to B-1061. Thank you, B-1061, for your exceptional service. Your dedication is truly appreciated. Let us now turn our attention to the recent letdown experienced by Blue Origin regarding the abort of the New Shepard mission. This outcome was anticipated following Blue Origin's announcement of the inaugural mission for its new spacecraft and booster. Blue Origin had originally scheduled the launch of the uncrewed NNS-27 mission on the morning of October 7th, using a newly assembled New Shepard rocket and capsule for a short trip to suborbital space. However, issues arose that led to a lengthy countdown. Ultimately, Joel Ivey, Blue Origin's creative director, announced that today's launch would be postponed. They are currently addressing the vehicle's issues that will exceed the available launch time. It's always disappointing to get to this point. However, we must ensure that all systems are fully operational and confirm the launch conditions for the flight. Our commitment to total readiness is paramount. Blue Origin recently posted on X, formerly Twitter, to clarify the rationale behind today's decision to cancel the launch attempt. The team is addressing the vehicle's issues that will exceed the allotted launch time. Exciting news on the horizon. A new launch target is coming soon. Stay tuned. Blue Origin exuded confidence in the inaugural flight, highlighting significant improvements to its new spacecraft and booster. Once again, their progress has been hampered by technical hurdles. It is important to note that following the 2022 incident, Blue Origin has been running New Shepard using a single booster. If the company fails to act decisively, it could jeopardize its position in the suborbital market, opening the way for competitors to capitalize on the opportunity. Timely intervention is critical to maintaining a competitive edge. This latest issue underscores the fact that suborbital flights pose significant challenges for Blue Origin. Nonetheless, the company is now focused on achieving its maiden orbital flight with New Glenn in November. Let's see if they can overcome these challenges and move forward. Well, dear listeners, that brings us to the conclusion of today's episode. See you in the next one.